Okay, now we've been blessed to have uh, Peter Forks on Inside Word this week. Uh, welcome, mate. Thanks, Mike. It's good to be here. It's the way, and you, you've already taken note of my relaxed it is. Um, forum with these in, chairs. In the room, it's about 40 degrees in here. Um, the chairs are definitely winning me over. <laughs> well, that's how it's going to be, mate. We're going to be pretty relaxed in here. Obviously, already been an, at an AFL club, um, joined Sydney. Uh, in 206 and unfortunately didn't get the chance to I guess make the grade at that particular point um, but then you went back spent a lot of time um, at VFL and matured as a player and it's finally gotten you to AFL uh, and to Fremantle. Can you tell us about your, your first game um, of AFL footy that you just played and I guess what you learnt out of it and, uh, and the normal nerves that you'd expect? Well, Smoke, uh, 23 now, so it's, um, it's taken me a while to sort of get, get one uh, game on the board. But um, when I found out last week, um, you know, I struggled to sleep the, the first two nights. I was that excited. Um, I just really enjoyed the opportunity, um, firstly. Um, the nerves weren't too bad, just because I think I've been waiting so long to, uh, <laughs> to finally play um, at the highest level. But... Um, once I sort of run through that banner, it was just ready to go. So, um, no, mate, I loved it. Now, everyone's, you know, uh, got close people to them that support them um, through uh, tough times, good times. Um, your family, did they come over and watch your debut? Yeah, mum and dad um, came over. I, I rang them um, firstly and they, and they were over the moon. Uh, also, um, I thank probably my auntie and uncles, they, they did a day trip, they come from uh, country Victoria in Lockington, uh, dairy farmers, so um, they hadn't uh, had much sleep once the day had finished, but uh, it meant a lot for, for them and, and to me to, uh, to come over. So. Yeah, obviously a, a um, disappointing loss to Carlton, um, given what's at stake for us as a club. Um, but what did you take out of the game? What did you learn that, um, you know, I guess is a lot different to Waffle and even VFL? I just think uh, the skill level first and, and, and was probably, it was just, it's hard to describe really, like you just, for, for everyone that's probably played the game, you'd know it's just a step above uh, the rest really. Um, and it just moves around so quickly, so you, you can't really, you got, you got nowhere to hide out there. Pretty much, you've always got to be thinking about structures and, and positioning of your opponent, repositioning of your opponent, um, and when sort of to attack and defend. And so, yeah, she's pretty hectic out there. Biggest yeah. influence on your career or mentors so far since you've joined Fremantle? Since joining Fremantle, um, well, it, it's been great. Sort of, you come into the system, and like at, at Sydney, I had Craig Bolton as a mentor. Um, and then probably my two years, my coach, uh, Peter German, in the VFL, it was, um, was fantastic. And now probably just learning off players like Luke McFarlane, um, Groves, they've, they've both been, been fantastic. And, and even Soss, I played a year with Soss um, out of Casey. Um, and he's playing some really, really good footy, so you're always learning off the players around you. Um, yourself, more so just from experiences and and things like that. So yeah, it's great to have so many boys to, to learn off. Now, I think obviously with the development of the game, we've had a few mature age uh, rookie boys come into, uh, or recruits come into our system. And it's fair to say every one of them are having an impact, which is great. Um, did you at any stage think that your AFL dream was possibly uh, not gonna come to the forefront? Um, look, it probably did. Once once I found out that I was, I was delisted from Sydney, you. Um, it's hard not to because, you know, my, my dream was to always play AFL football. Um, but I was only, I think, just turned, what was I, I was 20 when I, when I was delisted. So um, I knew if I sort of worked hard for, for a couple of years and, and played some good footy in, in the VFL, hopefully I could get, get another look, um, look in. And it's been fantastic, sort of, the, the effect that mature age recruits have had on um, on the game, such as, such as Mick and Soss. And, Players like Pods, you know, who's, who's 28 and yep. come in and have such an impact on the game. So um, you probably got to thank players like that for, for players like myself coming in into the system again. So yep. um, yeah, it was fantastic once I found out I could um, have another crack at it. I guess yeah, from your original 
um, time at Sydney and now your time here, probably in between uh, the, the two clubs, what have you probably tried to change about you as a footballer or have you just developed yourself better in you know what you're good at? Oh, I think so, Smoke. Like My preparation is, has been a lot better, I think, from sort of when I was 18 and 19. Um, I think the demands, like, it's just hard, like, I suppose, like, when, moving away from home when, when you're 18 is so much different from when I did it sort of this year. Um, yeah. It's sort of, not, I know what to expect, um, and I know things that, that I have to do if I, if I want to be a regular AFL footballer, so, um, sort of that sort of helped me, you know, in a way, and sort of put yeah. me in stead. Definitely takes time. I mean, I was in that situation myself when I first come to Fremantle, that adjusting phase to, you know, living away from home and you know, got to stand on your own two feet and then be a professional as well. So, certainly understand what um, what you've been through and how long it does take to. And there's probably something that is underestimated a it little is, bit. It is, yeah, most definitely. Yeah, haven't had a chance. I guess I haven't had a chance, and also our supporters haven't had a chance to see a lot of Forksy, the big Forksy, as in Kepler Bradley says it. <laughs> um, but only one game so far. But what would you say, you know, your strengths are as a footballer? Uh, I think just my defensive pressure. Um, I, I like to be, well, hopefully, be remembered as a, as a defender that just didn't give his opponent a sniff all day. Um, I really like to sort of smother my opponent. Um, you know, just be right with him for, for the full two hours of the day. And so that's probably my, my sort of my closing speed. Um, and athleticism, I think, are probably the two. Yeah, it's fair to say that 3K time trials aren't your <laughs> best attribute or favourite exercise. Uh, They're not my best exercise. exercise. <laughs> How did you go on your first one when you came to the club? Uh, I think it was a 30 <laughs> degree day and I had a long <laughs> mop of hair and I felt like my head was going to pop, <laughs> to be honest. But, yeah, I don't sleep too well the night before knowing we've got a 3K. <laughs> I don't um, think anyone does. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's definitely an area of. Um, I suppose coming into the, the next pre-season that I want to really attack um, yep. and that's definitely just going to take my game knowing that I can sort of run a good time um, it's definitely going to give me a lot more confidence coming into, into the next season Your yeah. fitness is fair to say it's come a long way since you first come yeah. to the club in, in the pre-season it has, you'd agree with that? Yeah, most definitely Like I, I feel now that my body um, I suppose getting used to the load early on like I had a few calf, sort of soft tissue um, injuries which were a little bit frustrating. Yep. Um, it was just good to string sort of six or seven games together in the waffle and sort of push for selection um, the second half of the year which has been good. So again for the fans, can you tell us a little bit more about Peter Falks, the person rather than just the footballer? The um, person. Maybe um, something the fans would want to know. Very laid back character. Um, <laughs> pretty quiet. Um, Enjoy. I uh, live with my girlfriend. She moved over, so I give her a mention. <laughs> well done. That's <laughs> so obviously my cook me dinner tonight. Um, yeah, very laid back, uh, um, relaxed. What else? Outside of footy, I was studying a P teaching degree, um, so that's probably outside of footy. But yeah, like I said, mate, just cool, calm, collected, really. How do you think you've adjusted to the WA lifestyle? And also, um, you mentioned uh, Sarah, your girlfriend, also being over here. Um, how have the both of you really adjusted to um, a new life, really? Um, yeah, mate, I, I love it, to be honest. I, I was sort of just really thankful the, for the opportunity the footy club gave me. Um, and, mate, I've loved it over here. We've got a great bunch of boys. The club's just been fantastic. Um, Everyone involved with the club, really. So, mate, I'm loving my time. Um, WA is great. Sunshine pretty much all year round. I've had a fair bit of rain though the past month, but um, it's nowhere near as cold compared to, to Melbourne. So, um, but I suppose it's definitely been hard. A little bit more for, for Sarah. Um, you know, like I've got the boys and come to the footy club every day. So, but I, I think she's been enjoying herself too. Like, it, like I said, it's probably been harder on her than it is for me, so. It's been a pleasure to, uh, to have the big forks on Inside Words. Thanks, so thank you very much. Thanks, mate. And all the best for uh, the rest of your career and uh, hopefully a few more games to come this year. Yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. So.